<laughs> Show him the arm. Throw the fastball. <laughs> Here's a double reverse that's knocked away, and it's going to be returned by Cameron Sutton. Oh, the trickery turns into points for the Orange team defense. And for Mike DeBoer, but a chance here with some of his veterans to run a double reverse, and the danger in those pitches is just like that. The risk reward, especially in your end of the field, often not great. Sutton never gives up on it. He's in man coverage. You can see him chasing the play the entire way. And finally, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's the foot of Jake Camarda. And it's a fake. Justin Fields. Oh my gosh. It was fourth and 11. Alabama's going to take over at the 48 yard line. The Alabama bench knew it was coming. They kept their defense out there. They're playing defense safe. Justin Fields is right here. They were ready for it. They played defense safe, and they had no chance. It's required here at Tulane. Limit your, right. your area as well. Glover will kick it away. And Robinson over on the far side will bring it back from the one. And... And it's thrown right to Tulane for a touchdown. Now, it may have been a forward throw by the Black Knights, but taking it in, it was Jatavian Tolls, the wide receiver on special teams. You can't score. Accuracy. Three total touchdowns for Plitt. And now Central Michigan with a couple of timeouts left. Yes. Well, wow. no, nothing doing. Ball State read that. And that is a beautiful special teams tackle by Hassan Littles. Yeah, and you'll see, look, they all come together. They're going to form a huddle, and then someone's going to burst out with the ball, but it was just a guy. Lost him. Yeah. yeah. It looked like, a, I guess I, was, I think it was Kobe Lewis. It was the one who wound up causing the fumble. That's a detrimental error, right? That star player, Jalen Rager, in motion. He can throw back to Mulestein. Where's this going? Who knows? The other way. Flags everywhere. Hawkins second. Trying to be the first to beat Boise State this year. Linehan on the run, and that's going nowhere. Oh, my goodness. It's fourth and 19, and you have a punter try to run and pick up the first down, and it appeared to me to be a designed 62-yard gain, longest, and here's the uh, quick huddle. They snuffed it out. It was going to yeah. be a gimmick play, like a fumble rooski type play exactly. to Michaela, and South Carolina had nothing to do with it. Watch McCaleb, he's hidden right there, okay? A lot of action, a lot of things going on. McCaleb gets it, uh-uh, didn't fool anybody. And the rest of those tailbacks in the backfield. 2007 on the fake, fake, and it's intercepted. And that's Chandler Wooten, who took that basket, like push pass from Sam Loy. And Auburn gets their second interception of the season and will take over at the Arkansas 38-yard line. I'm not even sure what they were trying to accomplish right here. You see, Loy, it's, it's a fake all the way. He's he's trying to get it to Devin Warren coming across. They're going to give Stack a chance. Again, his long is 39, and now they shift the formation and have the punter, Blake Maimon, ready to take this snap. There's a lot going on here, and Maimon will look to throw. The high school quarterback never gets the opportunity. Clock as well, down to 53 seconds. Jalen Hurts, backwards pass. It is another trick play. Basquin pulls it down. Now he's going to fire one. It's tipped by the count. It's intercepted. A.J. Parker, a takeaway off the trick play for Kansas State. Let's watch A.J. Parker down at the bottom of the screen as this play develops. He's playing a cover two corner. 
down in that flat. Watch the discipline. Sees the backward pass. He drifts downfield, and then he just plays with instinct. Floats. Tick balls equal picks. But it was because not only A.J. Parker, but everybody on that defense plays with great discipline. They don't fall for the... The FBS, an average punt at only 34 yards per punt. Trang. What is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. Not good. And he fumbled in the ball, picked up. And Lafayette's going to have it in prime position. That is Nick Franzese, one of their, line, or their wide receivers. Made a heads-up play. And with 44 seconds to go, they're inside of the red zone.